Hi, Elle. Hello. Uh, hi. We're going to talk about a scam that was pulled on you. Um, yes. And this happened over the last few months, started in January, I believe. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So how did you get into this scam? How did you find the scammers or did they find you? Uh, I actually, so I was uh, on YouTube um, just uh, watching videos, uh, passing time. Then I saw a short of a girl who, her life looked pretty successful. She was doing well for herself. And I was just scrolling to the comments and she was just talking about investing. And yes, I go to the comments. I see like a, a person asking, yeah, I would like to also get into this, but it's just such a big field. How do you start? Where do you start? Um, someone replied to that comment saying, yeah, I actually have had great successes with my investment. I am um, my family. I could help them. They didn't name any names yet. Just a comment. Then uh, someone someone else uh, um, like commented back, like, who did you like? Uh, how did you start this? And then then they say I use a financial advisor. Yeah, that helped me. And then they reply who? And they say the name. So it's like a conversation between people. It's not a person uh, like the advisor herself. It's uh, like more people. I was uh, looking up that name. Um, I saw a beautiful website. Everything was perfect. I look up her name on, on Google. I see verified information like credentials from the American government. Uh, I was... Uh, I was convinced, you know, for me, I am. I have no idea about crypto. I have no idea about finance. I just have some money that I would like to save. That's wh that's what I, where I'm from, you know. That's where I started out from. I, I look at the website. I see I can fill in a form, put in my name. It looks all very uh, professional. I send in that I am a person who wants to learn about investment, that I have no experience, basically given all my info that they need to know who I am. You know, so they had not, they had a profile of me based on my own consultation. Then I get an email back from that person. I am very excited. I'm going to finally start investing. Finally going to. Also, I felt safe because I was I thought I had a guardian, someone who could guide me into this. Um, so that's why I felt very good about it. You know, I was not doing it blindly. And yeah, that's how it started. That's how it started. Right. Yeah. So you saw the conversation. It wasn't it wasn't the financial advisor saying, hey, come to me. You know, I'm yes. very trustable, like. Come to me and invest with me. No, you saw a conversation of people that you thought were just random commenters like you, random viewers, yes. and you weren't the only one learning. Other people were learning. It's really yeah. reasonable to learn like this. Um, yes, yes. I but, thought I found a solution. I thought I found something that could help me finally because I don't come from a, like a financial, financially literate background. So I wanted to break a, a chain. I want to break a cycle. It was, it was really with good intention, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's and that's why they're posting on these YouTube videos and shorts and things like that because there's so many people that are trying to become more financially literate. Yes. So they're on there. They know, you know, people that are already experts. Yes. Aren't, might not be watching those videos as much. They know that beginners or people who are eager to, to get yes. started are on there. Yeah. Also so. pressured. I felt a bit pressure, you know, people around me my age. OK, they be doing it. I want to know, too. I don't want to be left out. Um, I felt pressure from the video like that's also a young woman. I'm like, I am doing something wrong with my life. I need oh, to start. No, but yeah, you're not. But but they <laughs> uh, they, they pick the videos to to post on to get the best, you know, audience that uh, that is trying to learn. And they say they have the solution. This is how you can yes. learn. I can help you. So you filled out this little questionnaire, and then they emailed yes. you asking for some more information, and you told them your goals. Your goals was to put some amount of money in, yes. and eventually have that grow to you know a good amount of money to help give you you and your family better financial situation yes exactly it wasn't to become rich it wasn't to be a rich i, I just wanted long-term effects you know a long-term thing i just had no idea about it i didn't even know crypto was going to be involved i had no idea
Yeah, I never believed in crypto. If they would have, if the site would have mentioned Bitcoin or crypto, I would have backed out. Uh, I'm scared of what I don't know. But this seemed legitimate to me. They they use the names of real investment advisors, real brokers. Yes. Uh, in this case, mm-hmm. says she has 15 years of experience, and it's from SEC.gov. Like, exactly, you, exactly. You know, unfortunately. Like, this is not UBS. She'd probably be working through UBS. Um, but you don't notice that in the moment. You think she just, this is her page. Every financial advisor has a page, maybe. Um, exactly. So then uh, you tell them you have a little money to invest. And you mm-hmm. ask them, you know, do you need to wait till you have more money? And then what are the next steps? Yes, I had to fill in a form for them to know what kind of investor I was. Uh, I did that. Seemed all very like professional to me. Also a contract. Uh, I signed it with and on the contract stated, uh, if you are not happy with our work, you can always file a complaint. Like that was on the contract. You can file a complaint. That also made me trust them. And another thing that made me like really be convinced like this is this is not a scam uh they said like they were going to get paid through commission okay. so am i uh, and i thought that um okay like i'm not paying them they they need to like make me have profit otherwise i can't pay them like yeah. it's so successful like this is a good this is a good uh it seems like a uh, good business model like yeah the model exactly like you said it's a good business model to that okay for your, for your commission that means I'm not paying them directly, but through my profit. And it was only, it was only like 5%. Mm-hmm. If they don't make you money, then then it didn't cost you anything. And they told you you couldn't really lose money because they had all these strategies. Yeah, they had all the manipulation and saying that we have a good strategy. We, we've been doing this for 16 years. Uh, we have a lot of experience in this field. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they are very also very kind. Their English is perfect. So yes, uh, I had no suspicion at all. Basically, I told them I'm ready to start with what I have. They said that's totally fine. That's totally fine. You can start with what you have. Uh, you don't need to invest a lot. There's no rules in the market. Blah blah blah. I was happy. I was happy. Yeah. So they they told you to sign up for some crypto exchanges. Um, I believe yeah. Gemini and Kraken. You decided that Kraken looked mm-hmm. more reliable. So I transferred the money that I had. It uh, wasn't a lot. Still, it was not a lot yet. Um, I I put it on Kraken. Then I buy it on that app Bitcoin. That to me seemed real. I looked up the app, many reviews. I'm like, okay, they're not fooling with me here. Now you purchased some crypto, and then. Yeah. They tell you you need to do something with that crypto, of course. Yes. So I'm feeling smart and cool. I have crypto now. But these seem legitimate apps and it seems like all real. Like they're actually teaching me something here, I thought, you know. I did notice in the emails you didn't want them to just do things for you. You wanted them to teach you along the way. Yes. Uh, yeah. So the, you now you'd learned how to purchase Bitcoin from them. Like they, yeah. they were fulfilling their side of the deal to some yeah. degree, which increased your trust of them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I was had no alarm bells because, for example, I was saying, can I trust you? Like, how can I know how to, that I should trust you? And then she said, well, I am not uh, able to force you into this because I am foreclosed, this, that. You know, the big words, the big English words that I'm not familiar with. And... She's like, yeah, it's it's actually I can be fined if I try to force you. This is all out of your own will. That, like, convinced me even more. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. You know, when they don't seem desperate for it. Yes. It makes like, it we seem don't like. Need you. We don't need yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I would love to have you as my customer, my client, but. You know, I'm fine either way. You live your life. Yeah, I understand. I have a big clientele. I'm taking in the last batch. You can be, uh, I can take you in too. So I felt like I had an opportunity here. I was lucky. That's how I Yeah, you thought you were lucky, right? And there was like a timeline, like this is my batch. You know, you can get in with this group if you want. Otherwise, you'll have to wait. Yeah. Very patiently working me up there, you know. The feels so bad. I don't like talking about it. It's very embarrassing, you know, but 
I want to like at least educate someone uh, with this. I think I think yeah. everyone watching appreciates your honesty and willingness to discuss because I think this is educational. Um, yes, for sure about all the steps that they take. So they told you you were in this bat of investors, and now that you have some Bitcoin to your name, they say we need to get you into the website. Yes, that was the last and fourth last step. I was like also asking them, you know, my my idea of this was we're going to do sessions weekly and also like uh, I can I finally ask questions because I have so many questions. I thought I was being a student of, of this. I was in high expectation. So finally they tell me to put it on the um, website. I look up the website. I see that it looks really good. It looked really good to me because I never seen a site like this. Um, I go on it, I make my account, like they say, because, but like by now everything went well. All the money has transferred and I access all the money uh, I have until now transferred, you know. I, it was, it seems all pretty trustworthy. I look at the site, I read everything, then I make my account on it. I try to figure out how to like send money to this website. So I somehow figured that out. I copied the wallet, which is basically their pocket, I, which I didn't know because I never used crypto before. It was very strange to me. Well, and, uh, and I think that's one of the tricks, right? Is it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like you're giving the money to the person you're talking with. You're yeah. putting it onto a big, reputable, you think, yes. platform, mm -hmm. you know, like putting it on uh, Vanguard or Ameritrade or, yeah. or something like that. Exactly. Um, yeah, so you just don't realize that this is owned by the scammer and they can see everything. So, exactly. they, so they've got you to put currency on there at this point? Yeah, now we have, now we, now my money is on there and it looks okay. It says that it's on there. Then a few days later, I get notifications on my email. A new uh, investment has been initiated. I get them, I'm like, yay, there's some stuff happening on the website. I'm just all fooled, you know. And then uh, I, I am trusting it. Months go by, my money's on there. They, they they remind me of saying that I will have more funds in the future. I told them, now I have not a lot to invest. Later I will. So then they a few like weeks later, they I got a notification. They tell me, like, you refer to, to having more funds later. Um, is it possible now? I, I go check the site. I see, oh, there's a lot of improvement on my inis, like initial capital. I'm super excited. I will take the risk and put more in. Uh, I right, the last, okay, so, so yeah. they... They, you had told them, hey, I could invest yeah. uh, this little amount now, or I yeah. could invest more later. And they yes. said, invest a little amount now, like just to get started, just so you yeah. can see that it works, just so you can trust us. Yeah, indeed. And because maybe if you had waited a month, you might have started, you know, getting suspicious at some point within the yeah. month. Mm -hmm. So they tried to rush you to do it now. This is the last batch. You got to get in even a small amount. So you did that, you deposited yeah. the money, the Bitcoin, and then behind the scenes, after you logged in, your account was going up. Yep. Every yeah, time so the woman messaged me, she said like, um, how is uh, the investments going? So what she told me was, for now, because you are a beginner, we will actually just let your, your account copy my trades. I am the professional. Um, they, they will just, I, I know how to like, with your budget, I know how to be... Um, strategic with the investments I make um, I'm like okay for now that's good I hope later I will eventually learn to do it myself too but I didn't ask I was actually grateful that she was handling it herself the account is doing well I look on it I see oh there's improvements and they're not insane improvement they're little improvements so it seems very real like uh, just a bit more. I'm like, okay, on, in the long term, this will grow. This can actually be something here. I put yeah. in some more. Uh, the same way, I go to the same steps. I put it in. Then I, um, then there's like a big amount there. Like for me, it's a big amount. I'm okay, so you've just it. deposited again, is what you're yeah. telling me. Yeah. Okay. It you, was you... long after, but it was it was not in in one go. I did it after. Right. So yeah. they 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 convinced you that this was working. 
this was working. Yeah. You saw the numbers going up and you were like, mm -hmm. heck yeah, that is what I was here for. I was here for yeah. the numbers to go up and they are. You should be investing every, you know, whenever you have money. It shouldn't just be one time and you're done. It makes sense to do it repeatedly. Yeah. It was, I'm also a kind person. I felt bad for our doubting her. Like, I felt even bad. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, oh, this woman knows what she's doing. I look up to this one. Yeah, you're uh, taking you're taking what you think is an important person's time. Like you're super grateful yes. she's you know yeah. spending the time to talk with you. I was like, I should have known she was right. Like, look at my account. Look at this. She was so, she's so smart. And I was like, uh, very happy, very happy. I yeah. even showed my family. It. That's the worst part of it. So I put the last amount. Uh, thankfully, the last time I put the money there. Uh, months go by. Um, she she leaves me alone. Like they aren't they aren't pushy. My idea of scammer was like a pushy, uh, impatient person, but that wasn't the case. To me, it was very sophisticated. Like, yeah. I'm surprised as well. I'm surprised they didn't come back to you next month and say, "Hey, you, you know, y your life has continued. Do you have some more money to put into your investments? You need to re invest repeatedly to." have more growth if you exactly. you can't just expect what you put in right now to last you to grow for you know forever um, to me they were reasonable they're like yeah, yes I'm surprised. Um, yeah they were they were kind too like, of course that's fake i know it but to, i believed it because i used to believe in the good of strangers i guess that's oh. also a bit changed <laughs> and then she said like um she said, uh, I hope you are well. She always approached me kindly. I hope you are well. Um, have you been updated on the account lately? I look at it. Okay, I see improvement. Yeah. I see. yes, wow, thank you. I see it. That's amazing. Um, thankfully, I'm broke. I was broke enough to not put in more. Because if I was like someone with money, it would have gone so badly. You would have kept so, putting it in probably. Like, yes. that's, that's what you do with investments. You continue to invest more. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking I should drop out, work full time. Really? I'm thinking like this can change. Oh, drop out of school. And... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I was taking crazy t ideas. I, like, I was actually uh, going to do that because I felt bad. Like she said, you know, to me, she said to me, we can give you a good return, but it's all dependent on your capital. That depends on your capital. You know, you have a dream, you have a financial dream where we cannot realize your dream with this amount only so they were being reasonable uh, again and well, they were being reasonable but they were manipulating you real hard wow that's crazy they almost convinced you to change your like current life plan because... and the thing is they never suggested it it was yeah oh you just they never okay. suggested it i was like this okay this they want me to like i can actually so um i can sacrifice some months of my life to later live good yeah. I mean, that's that's what investing is, is uh, giving up current ability to spend money to have more money later. But yeah, I get I understand. I understand. But you saw like, oh, if I have to wait till I get through school to start doing this, I'll be even further behind. Yeah, so, exactly. Okay. Got it. I, was, yeah. I have nothing right now, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> I think... The universe put me in a broke position to protect me for real. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I can read for you what she said, for example. Okay. So, uh, she said, all right, I'll, we can start by making do with what you have for now while you work on increasing it. I'm like, she's so patient. She's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's just... Ugh. They... They knew they were going to get money. That's why they were patient, because they they, they they saw this girl don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you're given money, like, it's it's hard not to send more money. Like, you, you really have to be very thoughtful once you're in a scam to admit, like, I've already been scammed. Like, exactly. you, you have to... It's hard to admit that you just want to keep it going and live in the I'm not being scammed mindset because you have to admit fault, which is hard to do. Um, I will say the ignorance was blissful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You were really happy. This yes. was, you were enjoying getting scammed. Uh, I was loving it. <laughs> you know, they did give me some happiness. That was true. 
I do appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. The humor, you know, I can see humor in it now, but a few days ago, my world collapsed. I will not lie. So a couple of days ago, they started being more insistent or forceful with you to add more funds. Yes, if I remember well, I still actually had no, no, I wasn't suspicious still yet. Actually, I was thinking of changing my life. I need to work. I need to find more works. I need to make this happen. I was thinking this. I was thinking of, I need to work harder. I need to find a job. I need to quit school. Things like that. Uh, very, that's how the people, you know, that's the psychology they use. They like, they, they put a life-changing opportunity in your face and you're blinded by, by uh, logic, basically. Especially me, I, I have no idea. Uh, I look up her name again. I see that her website is deleted. Oh, they, the website was down. The website that she used, or he, I'm, I'm convinced it's someone else. Yeah. So of course it's someone else, yeah. Uh, so I see the site is gone, I'm like, hell no, this can't be. Why would it be down? Uh, I'm still not suspicious. I look up Jenny on YouTube, and I see in the title scan, my heart drops, my world collapses, and my joy and bliss, it's gone. <laughs> then I click on the video, I'm like, this guy cannot be real. No, 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 she's real, she's really real. I was doubting you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no, thumbs down, thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> so you click through to the video and, yeah. and you watch. I'm saying, hold up, this does make sense. Hold up, no, this is what they did, this is what she did. She did you uh, say, use crypto, blah, blah, blah. I'm uh, getting angry, I'm getting mad. <laughs> I'm getting mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> So um, that's when I knew, uh, that's when I knew I got scammed. I cry about it and it's just, it's just so sad because you trust someone so much and then someone on YouTube saying you've been lied to, come on. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds though? Yeah, and, and honestly, um, I was, I'm very interested into scamming. I find it very funny. I look at those videos always. And meanwhile, I was getting scammed. I was laughing at other people being scammed. Like, how can you be so dumb? Romance scam, really? So <laughs> I was judging others while in my own scam. And I was bragging about how, how good I'm doing, like with the investments I didn't even make. And then I see a video of you. Oh, but you, if, I, if I didn't find the specific video, I would have never found out because I really didn't make the link because all I see on YouTube is romance scam and like people actually like believing voices they hear on the phone and it seemed so ridiculous, but I never heard her voice. I only saw her very professional males and her, her credential. She didn't make that video. So I want to thank you again for using that name because I just didn't know. I didn't make the link, but you using the specific name made me realize that they use someone else and it's all lie. Right, right. I mean, they're using, you know, attractive photos, trustworthy yeah. looking people mm -hmm. um, to, to get you in. And wow. Yeah. So it not only, I mean, I guess we were really lucky also that her site was down though. Uh, yes, but I was all, I was um, I was gonna look her on every platform. I was okay. gonna look her up anyways. Okay, so the site, okay. I was like, okay, this is just a technical error. Still no alarms. Still no alarms. But seeing um, like someone that uh, exposes them, like and has many videos on it, and I was still in doubt. I still didn't want to believe it. And then I'm trying. Because you to have to admit the money is gone. Then you have to admit that. that yeah. You know, you have to. That's hard to do. Like, you That's don't want to believe fair. that. You don't want to believe it. Exactly. Then I go on the on the platform we exchange messages to. I'm like, this is a very, um, a very important situation in my life going on. I want to withdraw money. Okay. So then I'm just talking to this person and being very bit pushy. Now I'm the pushy one. I'm mad. So I couldn't uh, contain my anger anyways. Uh, but I, I tried to withdraw of course, it didn't work. The numbers were all faked. The site is completely false. I see the errors now. I see the, all the fakeness of it all. 
then um, I tell her like, uh, yes, when, when it's a dire situation, you are unavailable. She's like, we're in different time zones. And then she blocked me. <laughs> and then she blocked you. Yeah. Okay. That was the end of our love story, basically. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you now, at that point, you're understanding you've been scammed. Yeah. Um, and by this point, you've contacted me. Yeah. Uh, to to you know let me know that uh, I that this making these videos isn't for nothing. Absolutely <laughs> and, not. And uh, Absolutely. that this has helped you to realize you've been scammed and. Um, you also, I think, understood at that point that it would, there's probably not a way to get the money back, but, uh, you can do, you know, the steps you should do. So you reached yeah. out to your local police. I did what I can. I gave them the info. They're also investigating it, but I, I'm not hopeful on getting anything back. What I am hopeful for is just someone else that, you know, people actually believe it. It's very sophisticated and... Me, I'm constantly watching those videos. So who else is in this, you know? Who else yeah. is not being alarmed by these scams? And we talked about it, how there are hundreds of these fake financial advisor, uh, like profile pages. And yeah. there are hundreds of these fake crypto, uh, well, investment, but really crypto platforms mm -hmm. um, that they're gonna, that they're getting people to go into. It's a global so. issue. It's a global problem. It's also a billion dollar industry. Like it shouldn't go unseen. It, it ruins people's lives. Thankfully, I was broke enough to not be ruined. But there's people with a lot with a lot more to lose. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. They, they do get money from this a lot. Millions, billions. It's big business and they're using yeah. all the tricks that they're passing between each other. Anyone can be victim to this, really. Yeah. And, and, and I think one of the other things that we're trying to make a point with with this video is you, you should go to your authorities. You should report yeah. it. It's unlikely they're going to be able to get you your money back. But yeah. if they Sorry. don't know it's a problem, if they don't know the volume that's happening, because uh, we think a lot of these scams go unreported. You know, people are maybe a little embarrassed yeah maybe, maybe a little bit um not wanting to admit they fell for this but exactly. but if you don't if we don't report it then our governments and our police forces don't they don't know so yeah there's no yeah you just you're helping the scammers more when you don't report it i think the last thing we want to be grateful for here <laughs> is you were broke as you said yeah, um, I'm not even and... scared they come for me. I have nothing to lose. <laughs> no, you do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, but uh, I mean, I don't uh, want them to come for you. That's just a, always a bad thing. Um, yeah. But one of the things they do is they have referral programs. So on this page, they offer a 10% referral bonus if you get friends and family and other people to sign up. So... Um, it's, it's natural when you're making, when you think you're making money to want to get your friends and family involved because you want them to make money as well. You want to improve their lives. So they well, offer you feel referral selfish bonuses. If you don't. They right. feel selfish if you don't. Very. Exactly. Yeah. So they offer referral bonuses. So you would be their best marketer, perhaps. And uh, thankfully, that didn't happen. You didn't, you were Thanks still testing you. the waters. Well, yeah, thank you. I, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, <laughs> um, but thankfully, you didn't lose more money. Thankfully, you didn't get your family more involved. Thankfully, you know, it, it could have been worse. So uh, I think we have to be grateful for that. Very. There was even more money on the way. You didn't like... quit your job. You didn't quit your job. <laughs> I don't even know. Or your to... schooling. Your schooling. Sorry. <laughs> your schooling. Yeah, you exactly. You didn't quit exactly. your schooling, so that's... It would have been terrible. But actually, the same day I found your video, earlier that day, I was going to send more on okay. Kraken. I was wow. sending more on Kraken, but thankfully it was not directly to that side. Oh, so now yeah. you, ha you own some Bitcoin right now, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. I'm still an okay. owner, though. <laughs> You're still what? 
I'm still a Bitcoin owner. No, yeah, I took yeah. it back. I, I actually took everything back from Kraken. It's just, okay. yeah, it wasn't a lot anyway, but it would have been even worse if I didn't find that video. Yeah, I'm Dude, glad it helped. It has helped like literally years of my life. Who was, <laughs> who was going to tell me if not you? <laughs> gosh, oh my gosh, yeah. There was well, no money in the way. I was completely being strategic like okay i need to save 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 yeah wow. basically i was gonna lose it all years and years and years this is just three months but it could have been worse so please never stop um maybe stop if you're tired <laughs> of it but yeah what can i say thank you well I, you're you're welcome and thank you for doing this video i think yes. this uh hopefully we can get some more eyes on this issue and maybe this will help someone else to realize that they're being scammed um because they'll like, hear your story and recognize themselves in your mm -hmm. story so that's that's the dream or the goal exactly so. yeah you're not on, stupid on. for uh, falling for it at all it happens you know losing money it happens but yeah if i can help someone get out of it at least it would be great you know I want to thank you for your time and sharing all of this with us. Hopefully we can get it out there and make a, a good you know, PSA for other people. So thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you for listening. Happy to. All right. We'll end the video here. Stay safe out there. Bye.